Hello and welcome back everyone to Tutor LMS Academy. In today's video, we will unveil the all new manual email template creator. This tool will help you create email templates from scratch to correspond to your personal events. You no longer have to rely on the predefined email templates that Tutor LMS has set for you. Now we have introduced a manual mailing feature for creating your own triggers and events and selecting very specific parameters for who you want the email to go to. So you can have an email to go out to whoever you want, however you want it, and whenever you want it. So let's get right into it. Firstly, to be able to access the email settings tab, we need to make sure that the email add-on is enabled from the Tutor LMS add-ons tab. Once this is enabled, we can go to Tutor LMS settings and then click on the email tab from the Tutor LMS settings tab. From here, we can find a all new section called manual email. We click on compose manual email to take us to the manual email template editor. So right off the bat, we can see that we're getting a warning here that says to enable email cron scheduling for manual emailing to work. So be sure to have that enabled from the Tutor LMS settings tab first. So moving on, we can first set a receiver type for the email. Click on this drop down, and we can see that there are so many options of receiver types that we can set. We can either set it to all students, all instructors, all admins, or we can set very specific parameters on who will receive this email. So let's go ahead and select this option, all students of a selected courses. So once we've selected our receiver type, we'll get a text box here that will let us select all the courses that we want to send an email for. So we can actually add multiple courses here and this will all stack up and Tutor LMS will actually fetch all the students from all these corresponding courses and will show you how many receivers have been found for all these courses. Now, if a student is enrolled in multiple courses that you've selected here, don't worry, because they'll only get an email once. All right, so once we've set the courses that we want the emails to go out for, we can go ahead and customize our email. So firstly, we can edit the email subject of the email that we're sending out to. So we add an email subject and then we add an email header to promote our sale. As you can see that the edits that we make from here are shown on this preview section to the right. So we've changed our email header and this is reflected here on the template preview. After editing the email heading, we can also edit the email body. This is the default message that comes up, but let's say we want to change it for our promotional email. So any edits that we make over here, you can see are reflected right here. So you will know exactly what your email is going to look like. After the email body, we can also change the footnote or the footer of the email. Once again, we're promoting our sale. So let's keep it in accordance with that. Then we can change the color options of the email. So by default, the background colors and the email body colors and the button colors are set to this, but we can change it however we want it. We can change the header background, the header dividers, and any other aspects of the email template. You can change the colors here to reflect your e-learning sites, branding, and color palette. Lastly, we can change the button that will be here on the email. So since this email is about a discount on our site, let's have our button say that. And lastly, you can set a link that will redirect whenever someone clicks on this button. So maybe you could have the sale link to go here. So this button will act as a CTA or a call to action button after the end of your promotional email. And once you've finished composing the email, you can get a full view of how the email is going to look like on a desktop and on a mobile. So you'll know if your email template is breaking any design elements or anything like that. So you can be sure before you send it out. There's a further step for testing our email. We can send a test email to the admin email address that's added for your site. Once you hit send, this email will go to the admin and you will be able to check how the email looks and that everything is in order. So once you're happy with the manual email template that you've created, go ahead and hit save changes and 
send this email out you will get a confirmation pop-up that will give you all the details of how your email will be sent out to students. So for test purposes, we only have one receiver, but we're assuming that you're going to have many, many receivers on your site. But don't worry, the emails will be sent out according to your WP email cron settings that you can edit from the email settings tab of Tutor LMS. Once you're happy with all the changes, just hit yes, send mail, and your mail is going to be sent to all your students that you've selected. Well, that's it, folks. That was the overview of the all new manual email feature of Tutor LMS. We have made significant design changes to the Tutor LMS email add on, and we are super excited for you all to try it out and see the magic for yourself. We will have other videos on the new and exciting changes to Tutor LMS and the Tutor LMS email add on, so be sure to out for those we believe that the manual email feature is a game changer for tutor lms and we hope that you love it as much as we do we hope that you can use this email feature to take your e-learning site to new heights and as always thanks for watching if you have any feedback be sure to let us know in the comments until next time have a good one everyone